friends, welcome back to another, are we, are these large family meals of the week videos or are these week in the life videos? Ah. Thanks again to Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video. To try it out for free and unlock more features with premium, head to rocketmoney.com slash or click the first link in the video description below. You can also scan the QR code on the screen to get started. What are we even doing here? It's a mix. You get both. I can promise you, you're gonna get a lot of food that I am feeding my family of 11 in various ways and you're gonna get a lot of life okay my mom life as a mom of nine longtime homeschooler entrepreneur I mean you know again <laughs> lots of things going on here so I have a lasagna I think this is our last lasagna that we did a bunch of big batch cooking for early in December video came out middle of December but I think that's our last one. So here we are. It's technically, what are my days of the week? Well, it's going to be March here in a day or two. So I think that was about 12 weeks or so it took to get through all those lasagnas. Then I also have what I know for sure is my last cabbage lasagna. The reason I wasn't clear on my lasagna, I remember now, I have one I passed on to another family this week. They had just had a baby and they had some dietary needs. There's certain proteins they can't eat, but if my lasagna was clear, and so I gave them that. So I'm going to put these, this defrosted cabbage lasagna and regular old backwoods Virginia lasagna in the oven. This will be dinner. Dinner's done. I say it's well, it's almost five. This is as good as I got. I like to put my makeup on in the morning, but some days, mamas, it just doesn't happen, right? They also have been continuing on with the bathroom renovation. This is our second upstairs bathroom that we are having completely renovated. You can see in my last video that, I mean, they just, for both bathrooms, I've actually shown this in several videos, but they have taken everything back to the studs. This house was built in 1963. The bathrooms, they just, they need it all. They need it all, all to be all shiny and new, right? But I will show you, after we get these lasagnas in, the progress that they made in, in my bathroom, as I call it, um, where I'm making all the bathroom choices. Travis said at one point today, while I was working with the kids, doing our Monday schooling, uh, that he saw them bring in the bathtub in. What is that noise? Outside, someone is outside. It sounds like a raking. I'm like, what, what pot, what, what? That's okay. Let me make sure a pig's not out. Wait a minute. We'll have to poke our heads outside. I don't wanna catch a pig right now. I hope that it's not a pig is out. I mean, everything looks okay. I know I shared my last video. My pigs, we started raising Cooney Cooney pigs in spring 2022. So here we are, almost made it a full year. It's been wonderful. I mean, they've been easy. My mom, who a longtime horsewoman, loves all the animals, has done all the farm things. She just always says if she would have had pigs on our different animal farms growing up that, well, she just would have loved them. <laughs> so anyway, it's been a great experience. I've had them get out like, I think they've gotten, hmm. I know for sure one of the videos I did this fall, like my whole evening was spent wrangling. Like I, I ran and got a pig, I wrangled him. I did the whole yeehaw thing. I've only had to do that once. Um, recently they got out, but it was accidental. I think um, a kid who was feeding them had left the gate open and so like they came out 
and then the kid went in with the food and they all went back in. So it wasn't. I feel like there's been another time or two. It's, it doesn't, doesn't come in my memory, but I know for sure this fall we had one like, <gasps> okay, pigs, wow. But it all worked out. Anyway, I see them, they're good. They are in my 2020 garden yard. You know, we did like a 2000 square foot um, garden area. So they've been in there and then when our mama pig had her babies, we sectioned off and gave them a private area with more fencing and such. So we are going to move them. We've done more extensive fencing for them over in our woods. And so I just know they're gonna love it. There's a lot of trees over there that drop nuts that they love. We have fed them nuts from our property, but they don't all fall directly in where they've been. So they're going to have several areas, like we can put them in one big area and then rotate them. We'll be able to rotate them th through and let the other area come back. And anyway, pig talk already. You see I've shown you in some videos, this welcome to the farm sign is on my goal list this week to have Mr. Travis get that hung up. When our contractor folks are done with the second bathroom, they will be coming back into this kitchen to do a few projects. So we'll be talking about all that too. Okay, we have limited lighting, but I'm gonna show you how far they got today. If you wanna see how it looked before, you'll have to look at my last video. Whoa, well, it wouldn't be my last video, but Anyway, my last large family meals of the week, week in the life, <laughs> this style video. Uh, okay, we now have a tub. That is amazing. It's going to have surround walls and such. And this is, cause you know, we had some water damage on our floor and stuff where they're peeling all that. They're gonna take this window out. Uh, they're doing it. It is happening. This is great. Good morning, it's going to be a bacon and eggs breakfast day here. I have quite a bit of homegrown chicken eggs. Thank you, chicken sisters. And we got that great bacon stock up deal the other week. So we're gonna go for it this morning. I'm gonna also save my bacon grease today. Many times I put aluminum foil underneath, but I want to make the effort to save our bacon grease. So this is, we got four of these big boxes from our local John Henry General store. There's the beauty. It's 10 pounds. I'm gonna go ahead and cook up all of it so that we are a little prepped ahead on our bacon. But again, we're a family of 11 and we are bacon lovers. So we're gonna take advantage of this delicious bacon. I also have a helper here reloading our yogurt box. Good job. And then he's going to go reload the green tea. And then for the eggs, I have this Lodge cast iron griddle. I actually got this back at the farmhouse and I used to use it. Not recommended, not manufacturer's recommendations, but I had a glass top stove there and I would use this to do pancakes and such on my glass top stove. Again, don't do what I do. Uh, and I ended up cracking that stove, but something fell on and it wasn't because of this. Yeah. But hi, sweetie. I know um, besides the crumbs on my stove, I think that's from when they reheated the pie last night. I may end up getting a few more of these. I know that there's different griddle tops I can get for this and this one has the grooves in it. I know that, you know, for several hundred dollars, this stove company <laughs> um, will sell me the flat top one. These were not quite as expensive. So I might go ahead and get like two more. I'll look them up on Amazon and let you know how much they were here coming up. But I'm gonna do our eggs this morning on this. Okay, I'm not sure how far I'll be able to go with this bacon this morning. Took three pans, we're not quite halfway done with this and I did fold it. Um, I either fold it or roll it lately. So I'm gonna get eggs going and I'm gonna see if I will continue to prep the rest of this or not. T time, time in the morning will tell. Okay, so we are having breakfast time. That's mama's plate. That's how our bacon turned out. There's our eggs. 
We've got some different bacon and egg configurations going on. But we're eating. I don't know. Will we have any left? Yes. Do you like your berries? Mm. Yes. Yes. Yes, berries. Okay, it's loud in here. We got lots of dad jokes going down, but I'm going to pour my bacon grease through this little strainer here, and then we will save this in the refrigerator. Okay, so I have a wide mouth jar. I have so much fun happening in the background. It's gonna be like 62 today, so we're getting outside to, I wanna walk for at least an hour. Anyway, that's kind of a dented lid, but I saved it for such a situation like this. Like, just need to put bacon grease in the fridge, but I don't think I can screw it on and hold the camera, so hold on. Well, it is now lunchtime. We actually, all kinds of noise going on. Heat my tea out, honey. Thank you. I got kids making good stuff here. We're getting ready to get into our read aloud time. I was just noted on my watch, I've got a little over 7,100 steps in so far. Go, mama. It's beautiful, 60 degree day. So we've had lots of outside time this morning too. And I was just setting my watch. So at in two hours, I have two freezer meal casseroles. They don't go together, but that's okay. I won't tell if you don't. We do need to get some veggies out, and our fruit right now is bananas and blueberries, and also some green apples. So we have two freezer meal casseroles I will do tonight. I will probably, I'll let the kids for if they want peas or corn or broccoli, they'll pick that about that time. But the point of what I'm trying to say is I'm setting my timer so in two hours, we can stop what we're doing. I can stop what I'm doing homeschool mom-wise, get dinner in the oven so that we can eat about four this afternoon because three kids are going out to an evening activity from five to six that Travis is running them to. Planning, preparing dinner. You know, if I was doing a slow cooker meal, it would already be in this morning. If I'm doing a freezer meal casserole, I know for the time we have to eat, I need to get it in about 2.45 or so. And then we will just continue with whatever we're working on until then. Also exciting news contractor folks I see my bathroom vanity on the front porch and this really nice over the toilet cabinet that has a mirror in it and some little baskets so I'll show you those too and then the kids are using uh, or making up I have some, just some different discounted little dessert boxes we got it sharp shopper so they are adding this into their lunchtime option show you the box on the porch alrighty here it is I picked this one they sent me several options and I could have of course gone to Lowe's and pick it out but I don't want to right now uh, but the big deciding factor is this one has the toe kick at the bottom and doesn't have open space so that is nice you know one less thing to sweep under uh, but there you go has supposedly some nice deep drawers and this looks like the shower walls going in so here we have, I don't know, I feel like we should write a little nursery rhyme about how many goats on a log, but this is a tree that had fallen down in our big open barnyard area. The area is fenced, so it has room for this massive tree that fell. We have cleaned up around it and cut a lot of the extra branches off and such, and Travis actually wants to finish cutting it up this year, but I love it because our goats and our sheep and our chickens, you know, so many of our barnyard friends when they're let out into this area they climb this tree they climb on the branches they go down and like the chickens will dust themselves around the roots and such I just feel like it's a nice barnyard feature even though it's an eyesore of course there's no grass in this area this time of year I'm actually filming this on March 1st we are having a beautiful day today but again it's going to be 40 on Friday <laughs> So uh, it comes and goes this time of year, but I just love it so much when all the critters line up on this log and play around and chase each other. It's a good happy heart time. Okay, we made it through. Um, it's been a busy day. Anyway, we'll address the dishes here shortly. So this is what dinner is. I have a pot pie I put through the oven. I have uh, that baked spaghetti that we made several weeks ago. 
and I also have a little more than half of that cabbage lasagna from last night. And then to go along with it, I also, I'm just doing a simple spinach salad. There are bacon bits in here. And I was just doing a little thing of homemade oil and vinegar dressing. I'm waiting for some vinegar to be brought up from the pantry downstairs. So this is what dinner looks like tonight. We also have blueberry. We're gonna have some family members who have pot pie and blueberries. We're gonna have some who have both and some spinach salad. We're gonna have some who have baked spaghetti and butter bread, all kinds of, of combinations going on here. I had some of this cabbage lasagna for lunch and I'm having some of this in a big bit of this spinach salad for dinner tonight. So we're going to eat and get everyone out the door who needs to get out the door. Happy little official first bloom spring flower. Also, our contractor folks are out on a lunch break. So let me show you how things are looking today. Okay, so I know big things are happening. I'm drywall, drywall, ladders, electrical tub that's the tub insert that got done yesterday they have this wonderful female construction manager and she knows pinterest and she got this idea from pinterest about doing a built-in storage cabinet for me just again because i don't there's not a ton of room in here and so they're just trying to give me my baby's hooting in the background so you hear all that but they're just trying to give me some more room and so they're building it into the wall. And then they've got um, a storage cabinet for me for over the toilet, and of course we'll have the vanity, uh, but there's just not a ton of room in here. We're also discussing maybe doing some shelves along the top where I could put the, um, you know, the storage bins and stuff. But this is how, how the tub is looking. So my babies can take baths and tiles don't fall on them. That's lovely. And then this is where they replace the flooring where we had some damage there. So it's all fresh, yay, doing things. And they're hopeful that they're gonna be wrapping that up by tomorrow at some point. So we're watching in the background videos on how to play Monopoly since this is our Monopoly conquering day. I'm also going to have a spinach salad. We have some baked spaghetti that was eaten and then they also made some chicken salad. And here, I don't know, some chicken mama ordered herself four fresh spring chicken t-shirts. I mean, if they're going to talk about coffee and chickens on the same shirt, I think I need it. Here's two of them that just came in the mail. Maybe more packages are coming later. And now I am getting the tea request seeping for lunchtime. I have an oolong tea in the works and a nettle tea and an orange spice tea and a green tea. No one else wants tea, but let's get these four cups ready. So I don't know who ordered these other two chicken shirts. But here they are. Oh boy, they showed up. Yes, okay, there's one. It says, love your flock. And then, oh my, my, one of my favorite colors and a chicken on it with a pattern. What? Wow, thank you so much. Wink, wink. <laughs> Whoever sent this to me, who looks like myself. Yay! Amelia Smart, she was just, we were talking. I was like, I could do a little try on haul. There you go. There's one Chicken Mama shirt. Uh, we should make a shirt that says, Don't judge me or my chickens. Yeah. That'd be good. <laughs> okay. And then another chicken shirt. Okay. And then this one. I just want to drink coffee and pet my chickens. And really, I just want to look at them and drink my coffee. Okay, good morning. We got about an hour until the contractors get here. So I was gonna show you how far they got last night. I don't know that I showed you the end. End of the day, we got drywall up. Yay. We have, I feel like maybe I did show this. Hmm. Uh, they have the, I guess the video footage will tell us, um, the waterproof drywall up there. The tub insert which it's hard to see in this light but the tub and then this is where they're going to do the little build-in for me uh, but it's coming together they're supposed to finish it today i don't know how that's possible but they know so that's cool <laughs> maybe it'll only be 75 percent finished but i'm not sure they had said thursday and today's thursday so Oh, that must be a little access for the pipes. That's so smart. See, we didn't even have that before. 
<laughs> so definitely big life upgrades. Good morning, new day, new chicken shirt. Life is good, <laughs> life is good. Well, weather-wise, weather report, we're supposed to be back to now like rainy 40s. So my what? yellow chicken it's shirt. Yeah, well, it's gonna. We're gonna need to put jackets and stuff back on. I know it's sad. It. We've had. Uh, yeah, it's raining, honey. We just enjoyed the nice glimmer of a few days ago. I don't know. Do I like different shades of yellow? I think so. Um, so anyway, it feel pre okay. Don't let the other kitty in, honey. Put that kitty out. Thank you. Okay. Well, it's not a snowstorm, so that's good. Anyway, some kids are gonna do cereal. I'm gonna do the rest of that pack of bacon that we had from the other day. I'm going to use one of my freezer meal prepped omelet bowls where I crack two eggs and do it in the microwave. Also, I got my egg spinners out last night. Let me show them to you. Anyway, I don't know that it's the perfect system. I mean, when we get in high production, it's, it's high production. But for now, like this is all duck eggs and this is chicken eggs, and then these are other chicken eggs. And so today, when the kids bring eggs in, they have room to put a few more duck eggs up here, and then they can just start putting chicken eggs here. So everything still needs washed, but once I wash it, it needs to go in the refrigerator. And then even like today, I actually have some store-bought eggs I'm still working through also, so that's good. It lets me <laughs> get my little supply up here. Uh, but you know, if I was gonna take these today and use them, I could grab those eggs there. These these all still have the bloom on them so they're sealed and they can stay out of refrigeration for weeks and weeks so that is good and we will definitely be getting to them I'm so excited about the duck eggs now my ducks ducks don't lay as often as chickens I only have three ducks right now what's exciting though I think they are just so excited that spring is on the way that they've been laying eggs every day too <laughs> so that's helping my duck egg stash so we've had a bunch of rain and also you can see like that olive egg or egg has a lot of extra dirt on it. And that's from one of my, I have these two olive eggers that no matter what I do, they get out. They're like ninja chickens. Anyway, so she laid that in a very muddy area. So thank you, girl. My ducks don't lay in the nesting boxes like in the coop. They like to lay out in the yard or whenever they're let out to free range. So there you go, ducks. And then most of my chickens though, as long as I try to leave them in until the afternoon, until they've laid and then let them out. So we're not also gathering eggs from secret nest in the barnyard. That way they get the best of both worlds. They're able to sleep in their coop at night, which is more protected. They have an enclosed run in with even netting on the top of it and such. So they're fed in there in the morning and have fresh water, all of those good things. And then they have time to lay their eggs. And then by the afternoon, sometimes as early as one, sometimes as late as four, I let them out into the big, huge, again, is it a half acre? Is it a whole acre? But it's a big fenced barnyard area that they have access to, to free range. And then in the evening, we put them back up. Of course, things are even better whenever it's light until, you know, eight or nine, but it's cute even now when they're out around six, because it is staying lighter longer, the rooster takes them down and they're outside their run-in door and they're ready to get back in to their run-in and coop for the night. Well friends, future Jay Morrell here, and as I mentioned to you at the start of this video, that today's video is sponsored by Rocket Money. Rocket Money is the all-in-one finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. The personal finance manager allows you to lower bills and save money. The personal finance manager allows you to manage subscriptions, lower bills, monitor your credit score, and build your savings all in one place. You know that we are continuing to save and pay out for big house renovations, such as right now, after waiting quite a bit, it seems, we are in the middle of two bathroom renovations, and we are always looking for more ways to save money. And once we're done with these home renovations, there's many more. You know, when you got a 1963 Rambler, the renovations are deep and wide. One of the features of Rocket Money is they help you cancel unwanted subscriptions. 
Rocket Money safely and securely identifies reoccurring charges and cancels unwanted subscriptions for you with just one tap. You never have to get on the phone or try to hunt down the cancel button. Rocket Money does all the hard work for you, and I tell you, that is so very helpful because so many times I'll see a charge and I'm like, okay, I really need to get rid of that, but then just the time it takes to do it. So now with Rocket Money, they make it incredibly easy. Another helpful feature of Rocket Money is you're able to set budgets that automatically monitor your spending category. And what I like with this is you can get notifications when you exceed them, and it also helps you visualize your spend to earn ratio, and you can look by the month, the quarter, and the year, and I love being able to break down those details. Rocket Money is trusted by 3.4 million members and counting. Also with Rocket Money, they help you monitor your credit score. With complete access to your credit reports and history, Rocket Money alerts you of important changes that impact your score and offers you insights on ways to improve it. To try it out for free and unlock more features with premium, head to rocketmoney.com slash or click the first link in the video description. You can also scan the QR code on the screen to get started. So I say I'm gonna use up my store-bought eggs and then here I am grabbing two of my eggs. <laughs> well, four. I'm gonna do one for me and one for Travis. So I'm joking, hey look, I meal prep. Now I got some people in my family who like their bacon softer and some who like it crispier. This is our bacon that's left after 11 folks had bacon this morning. And so that's Benjamin saying, you don't need a sweatshirt. Okay, good. Anyway. <laughs> My joke, hey look, I meal prep, so now we'll have some bacon for tomorrow too. Okay, so for the slow cooker tonight, I'm getting in these bags of creamy tomato basil chicken, and we will have this over noodles. That's a little bit of the noodles that I have left from an Azure order. I've got other noodles too, but we'll use these up as well. afternoon busy busy school day I think we're done it's in the books gonna show you now the progress with the second bathroom how things are a looking all kinds of stuff pay no attention to the things that are behind me um, but there's no lights in here yet so I'll need to show you now so we have drywall we have mudding <laughs> I'm like, oh, technical terms. We have these these things that happened today. The drywall man came out, and so it's progress. He moves quickly. Travis said he'll probably be here over two or three days. He also does the painting, and he does the trim, so he'll be doing a lot. And obviously, I must have misunderstood. I heard Thursday somewhere. It would make more sense if it was next Thursday, because they started on this bathroom not even a week ago. So anyway, yeah. So I just pulled my chicken from my creamy basil chicken out of the slow cooker. I'm not worried about shredding it. I just cut it, took my little knife there, just cut through it easily into little chunks. I'm gonna add in now a cup of heavy cream and the equivalent of a cup of cream cheese. I'll stir all that up. I'll also put a little thickener in it. I'm using xanthan gum, you can use cornstarch. And if I had some basil, I have it in the dried form, but you can also throw some fresh basil on this.
So for extra fun tonight, Ma and Paul here, we're, we're trying, we're trying to go out on a date. We are gonna go to Texas Roadhouse. It has been a very long time since we have been there. And so we're gonna do that thing, but I wanted to have dinner here ready to serve before we left. My 16 year old got the water boiling. And so I'm just stirring up this cream cheese, but you can see it's very beautiful, beautiful and saucy. And there's still some chicken chunks in there. I only pulled like the large chicken breast out. Okay, so I added my thickener to it as well. Had fun getting some stuff caught in my whisk, but it was it's mostly sauce. There's a little bit of chicken in there, but I'm gonna add all the big chicken pieces back, and then the kids will eat this over hot noodles. I also made enough so that hopefully this means that dinner's done for tomorrow night also, or this would be heavy lunch options. I don't know, we'll see, I'll show you. I mean, sometimes folks surprise me. Who could know it? I think there should be enough for some lunch and dinner leftovers for tomorrow, which is good because tomorrow I'm gonna work on doing another video for you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna call it something like canning my freezer, but I have three shelves in my chicken and pork freezer of items that like turkey necks and just various cuts and um, some of the chicken that we've raised that we still had left, some of the turkeys that we've raised, and I just want to get it all cooked up and canned up. And so with these leftovers from this yummy, yummy chicken slow cooker meal, look how good that is, over noodles, mmm. We have enough leftover for dinner tomorrow as well. That's just the stuff dreams are made of, isn't it? This is my 10 quart slow cooker. It's not full to the tippy top, okay? But it's probably about eight quarts or so here, plus noodles, so that's where I'm hopeful that we'll have enough for tomorrow night. If it's looking a little skimpy, again, we'll just have to see how it goes. We can add some other sides with it. I don't have any other side items tonight. Of course, you know, fruits and vegetables, but besides the fresh fruit and veggies that are available, I'm not cooking anything else to go with this. I think this is perfect now. I think this will just be delicious over the hot noodles. Mama feels good to go. I do have two other adults here while Travis and I are gone for this evening. I obviously have a happy helper here working through dishes. So I feel like mom and dad can leave the house. Good morning. I really look like pirate mama this morning. Mm -hmm. You contact wearers understand. I've tried two different contacts in this eye this morning and it's just, yeah, I did take it off, honey. Hold anyway, I hold on, the other eye is okay. Anywho, I'm gonna try a third one here in a minute. It's just easier if I keep it closed. Okay, breakfast for me this morning. We have some leftover bacon. I have two eggs. I'm gonna use my little poacher in the microwave. Several of you have asked me how I poach eggs in the microwave, so I'll show you that in a second. Last night for dinner, Travis and I had our Texas, is it Texas Roadhouse or Texas Steakhouse? Must be Texas Roadhouse. We had that for dinner. I had chicken, I had the house salad, I had um, the little side item of the five lemon shrimp. That was delicious and mom and dad are gonna go back there again. Also, today is, oh, I don't know if I can do this. Can I keep, oh, it's so fuzzy there. Okay, <laughs> tomorrow, no, today is the start of two of my big, of two of my big, big batch cooking, massive food preservation days. I'm working through canning up three different shelves in my freezer, a whole bunch of different ways. I'm also hoping to get jams and jellies and homemade vanilla done during these two days. We'll see, but let me show you these poached eggs for breakfast. So with doing the poached eggs in the microwave, this is all it is. This is by Nordic Ware. I own a lot of baking pants by them. So anyway, it's that same brand. And so all I do is I crack an egg in each one and then I put like a spoonful of water of each. Usually I pierce the yolks also and then I put it in the microwave. At the minute mark, I check it. Sometimes it needs another 15 or 20 seconds.
friends, that's how you fail and you don't do poached eggs. So I have three of these cookers and I'm wondering now, because I did this again recently, I'm wondering if it's that particular model. I'm going to clean this up and we'll test the next one. We will determine which is the best microwave egg poacher because apparently that's what we're doing this morning. Okay, we're having another go here. Okay, so I was at the last second mark and we exploded again. I have made poached eggs in the microwave for years, but I am just defeated today. Apparently, I can't handle that responsibility. I think my, my brain just must be affecting my eye. That's having trouble with the contact. I did get the contact in, so that's a win. Uh, my other family member who also does poached eggs in the microwave often told me, because I was wondering, am I off saying it's a minute? Because, I mean, some things are a minute. But anyway, they said they do it for 30 seconds and then check it. So that must be where I'm going wrong. I must have just forgotten how I do these because I haven't had to try to explain it before and show it. So we'll just let myself feel good and say that that's the reason. But I do have an egg and a half salvaged. So I also had someone bringing up my roasters because I'm going to eventually get this meat cooking in it for my big cooking day today. This one got dropped down the basement stairs, so who knew? I guess let's see what's inside a roaster oven. Looks like there's some kind of fluff in there, some filling. Okay, but yeah, I mean, this is my original. Isn't this my original roaster I got at the forest house? Got seven years out of it. It was like crash tested. <laughs> Good thing I have three more, but still, sad to see it go. All right, so now, I've just had something else that's never happened to me before. I had my poached egg on my plate. I had chopped it up. I just wanted to melt a little butter on it. I'd put it in the microwave. I pulled it out. And while I'm standing here, it exploded. Like my, my heart is racing. That's why I'm talking this way. It exploded all over my countertop. It's on my floor. It sounded like a gun shooting off. And so I guess if anything else, I'm not doing this anymore, even though I've done it for years. I have now just had everything in my heart and mind about doing poached eggs in the microwave go wrong. With this force and with how loud it was, I mean, thank goodness I had my contacts in, but what if this would have gotten in my eye? I've gotten some hot things through cooking in my eyes before, but okay, not doing this anymore. So we have a lot of fun noise and family things going on. It is Sunday afternoon, and I'm showing you what we are having for lunch. We've got some grilled steaks Travis did. We have roasted potatoes that my 12 or 13 year old did. We also have some buttered green beans, cute little pot ready to go. And then we're also doing several dozen deviled eggs with our store-bought eggs that I wanted to get used up. I think, well, there's 30 eggs in here total, or maybe 38. I had eight upstairs and then they brought up another 30 pack. Okay, anyway, I think I have one more box of 60 after that, and we should be totally 100% back on our farm eggs. So this is our happy Sunday lunch. We're gonna go ahead and have the steak, roasted potatoes, green beans. The deviled eggs will just have to be for later. And then I just finished a big two-day canning project. I don't know if you can hear me, but anyway, here is some of the aftermath. Um, this proves that other people really do live in the house with me and I'm slowly working through cleaning this up by, by Monday tomorrow. This should all be cleaned up, yay. And now here we are a few hours later. We have not just deviled eggs, we have a deviled egg board. They are delicious and they were made by a kid, yay. Also new in life, the little chest freezers we had are out of this area. I mean, remodeling needs to happen everywhere, but again, finding our built-in laundry room area is coming. Okay, so we had a spill on the floor over here. We need to get cleaned up. Also, I'm going to upcoming project set up our heat pads and our grow lights. And over here on these shelves, we're gonna turn this into a seed starting area. That won't be until next weekend but it's happening and that's how with different projects and things i just 
I plan several weeks or months in advance. You know, some things like again, getting these freezers organized how I wanted to, that was a couple month project, but we eventually did it. This I've ordered my first official, like I'll say fancy <laughs> or advanced seed starting supplies. And sorry, I know mama looks rough, no makeup mama. I just finished two days of working on canning this back freezer here. I finished up three shelves, so I'll show you that. But today is my, I'm gonna stay in my pajamas with my head wrap on, drink some coffee, scratch my head, visit with my family. We actually have some family members visiting us now. We've had our big meal and they are using our kitchen at this moment to prepare some meals for friends of theirs that just had a new baby and all that goes along with that. So I was like, oh, you, you got someone you're taking meals to and has a new baby? Hold on. <laughs> so we're gonna look through my freezer meal freezer. I don't wanna make it too complicated. I only know Mega and Lots. It's like, oh, you need meals, let me give you five meals. Oh, you need some canned goods, let me give you 20. So I'm gonna try to just be sensible. I feel like we need a swig of coffee here. They cannot deliver the meals until tomorrow. The meals are gonna just be in their refrigerator home tonight. So anyway, trying to not make it complicated, trying to not send them with, you know, like, five pans. Let's look at what I have and we'll find some easy things that they can also take to their friends with the new baby that can be a blessing to them. Okay, so here's how the freezer meal freezer is looking where, you know, dents are being made in things. So down here, easy, sensible things. Okay, so I have these. These are the strawberry buttermilk pancake squares that we did. And this is not for, you know, a family of 11. So I think this might even be too much, but I'll set that out. And then this one, my, some kids have already gotten some out of, which is fine. I mean, it, it's, it's for them. Okay, so this has four bagel sandwiches. So I think I will put, let's see how many pancake squares we can add to this, because that would be some easy, non-thinking breakfast. And then, oh, my kids will, they'll, they'll like getting into those soon. And then I have French toast. I also have, oh, these are the pancake sandwiches. Okay. Okay, lots of good things. Um, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I have, these are the mini bagels, and there's, you know, these can be microwaved. Four of those, four little pancake squares, and maybe two of my little um, omelet containers where they just crack two eggs and then um, this is something where the dad is in a real intense training program right now and he can't take time off and you know just just a lot so anyway I'm thinking breakfast for anyone who needs it and then sending this 9 by 13 taco mac and cheese I will give them I'll do a little little note um, to send with them and then my family members are making them a dinner and a fruit salad and another salad so Anyway, this will be our little contribution. And I'm also going to throw a couple canned goods in there. I mean, it's just a, a can of chicken and sausage gumbo, basically two different soups and some pineapples. I don't know. Can I fill everyone's pantry? No. But do I want to? Yes. And so I'm just thinking people I don't know. This is my thought process, you know. Hey, let me also give you some canned goods. And But this will be the little new parent gift package from our family. Well, friends, good morning. There's dishes, because we live here, but I got a dish person on the way. We have done a bunch of school this morning. I've got dinner in the slow cooker. Life is good. It is early afternoon now. Travis has two of the younger boys, the five-year-old and the eight-year-old with him. Tobin is down for his afternoon nap. All morning, I keep spraying my Mega Mama stove here down with my vinegar spray. I did so much canning my freezer activities this weekend. The stove is just a mess. So I just keep spraying it down, spraying it down. And so now I'm gonna go after it and get it all cleaned up from this weekend's canning. Got a whole bunch done. I still have all my things on the island and I'll be working through this afternoon and this evening, just a little bit here and there, putting things away, but everything's clean, so yay. I have this one pot that the water was as dark as the darkest night. <laughs> so I, I had a burn situation go on there where I was boiling heat and uh, just all the water went away in that one, but that's okay. It's actually all done now, you can see some a few of the remains of the sink but I've had to scrub and soak scrub and soak quite a bit but it's all back to good now so now we're gonna get this stove cleaned up 
I also have a kiddo making some pudding pies this afternoon. So that is fun. It's a little afternoon baking inspiration. So we were just going over how many boxes of pudding they have. Each box is two cups of milk. And they're gonna multiply that and just get several pudding pies done. The kids really like making those. And I really like having a clean stove <laughs> when I can get to it here. Oh, this stove has stories to tell, right? It can tell us all about the adventures of this weekend and many other adventures. Well, that's the first pot I burned on the stove. So there you go. What, have I been in this kitchen seven months so far? So that's a feat. We know I've overflowed a pot or two with the pot filler. One time very bad, another time minorly, but still always <laughs> with the expertise of, of a professional pot overflower. So I'm just right now going over the first layer of goop here. You can see we'll wash that rag. I do have my little scrubber. Now I don't scrub this black metal surface hard, but after this soaks, I can just go over it very lightly and it'll come up. I don't know if it'll scratch or not. Probably if this would scratch, it would already be scratched because I would have already done it, right? <laughs> so, and then I have learned that these little marks on the back come off in different degrees and then I put new ones on there. So, hey, it's being used. I love it. I could have got a smaller stove but in a fancy color, but I decided to go for the bigger stove in just regular old stainless steel because we like Mega and Lots. I feel some burnt on fun things there. And here we go, we got some delicious pudding that's gonna go in those pie shelves. Lots of yummy stuff. I have all of my stove top pieces stacked here. That's kind of my little routine when I have to really do a deep down clean on my stove. And then I just wipe these off, freshen them up a bit, and then I will put them back over each section. I do plan to get outside in the garden today. Wow, the sun is shining. It's, it's breezy, I haven't been outside yet, but several kids told me it's just, you know, a little chilly when the wind blows, but it's supposed to be up to 65, so I'm excited about that. Rest of the week, weather report will be in the 50s, and then maybe a nice storm on Friday, you know. Hello, Virginia. I don't mind putting these back down soapies on them. I will just, I'm just drying them off with a towel. Alrighty, it is loved and used and earning its keep, but the stove is at least ready for another fresh week of big batch cooking and Mega Mama meal extravaganzas going on here at our house. But anyway, out in my gardens this afternoon, uh, well, I just wanna pick up, clean up, assess what's happening. I would love to go and haul a bunch of fresh aged manure on there. Don't know that that is gonna happen because today, Travis and the five-year-old and eight-year-old are running more rocks from the quarry work on this extended parking area. We have more and more people coming to our house all the time, more and more drivers and all of that. So they're hauling loads of gravel and it'll be dark before we know it. But I thought if I could at least get out there and clean up then I might be able to haul a couple wheelbarrows of nice gold from the horse. We shall see. All right, so the red lid going on. The stove is fresh. All is right with the world, yay. 
and the pies are stacking up. So I think this will be the kids get inspired to make all kinds of desserts video. But we have another dessert inspiration that has happened. There are how many pumpkin pies in the oven now? Six, Six pumpkin pies in the oven. And also some homemade whipped cream going down. So we do have about four to five more family members coming for this week, which means we will have 11 to 15, 16 folks here all week. So don't worry, we're sharing. So I'm having him use four cups of heavy cream and then I'll have him do a couple tablespoons of sugar and then also throw some vanilla in there. And then to keep this sugar free, you can also use stevia or another sweetener alternative. And he's just gonna get it in the bowl, although I think he might need a bigger mixing bowl here because hey, don't worry, we have them. Anyway, and then use the mixer on it and eyeball it. He's gotta go to eyeballing school this afternoon. So I was doing pretty good energy-wise today, even though my sleep got messed up with my massive canning project this weekend. That's okay, we'll enjoy the canned chicken. I had those outdoor plans, and then this afternoon, basically after I filmed a little bit, I was like, okay, yeah, there was less of my energy. So I'm sitting. We'll see if we end up outside. Now I'm questioning all things in life, but with the pumpkin pies, we had just the, oh, I'm sorry, chip paint fingernails. We had these cans of pumpkin in our downstairs pantry. Their little recipe on the back calls for one can of pumpkin, two cups of evaporated milk. We did not have evaporated milk. I had him use, okay, three cans of pumpkin is what he brought me. I was like, you're my kid, and if you're cooking, you can't just do two pies. He brought up three cans anyway. So I had him do three cans of this, and I had him do the six cans of sweetened condensed milk. We just skipped the evaporated milk. One can calls for four large eggs, so we did 12 eggs. Then he could only find the cinnamon, so we did two tablespoons of cinnamon, a tablespoon of salt. He couldn't find the ginger or the cloves, so we just let the, that go, and we're baking them up in the oven now, and then he's also doing the homemade whipped cream, so that is good. So looks like between the pumpkin pies and the pudding pies, those will be the desserts to share with family this week. Okay, it's been brought to me in my resting chair. I mean, doesn't everyone want a mixing bowl of homemade Cool Whip here? Um, I'm working on reading through my book there, but looks good. I just put it in the fridge for a bit. Okay, I found my little bit of energy. So I had this pork that was cooking. It's actually the Tuscan pork slow cooker meal that I recently did in a video. I'm cooking it up a little different though. I just cooked the bag of the pork and the seasonings and the vegetables in the slow cooker. Only one bag. I know, being sensible. But we've got other adventures happening this week. And then I dumped in a one pound box of noodles. And so now those noodles will finish over the next 25 or 30 minutes. And then other adventures going on. Just because it makes sense, we have our six pumpkin pies that are cooling now. And then also, this is the, we're on a deviled egg kick. Okay, this is our first. Uh, and let me say, those eggs were not floating when I put them in there. These eggs are cooking. Okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, I say that because you can do a rotten egg test by if the eggs float. These eggs have been cooking for a while though, so I don't think it's related. These eggs were not floating when I put them in. I, just these things, I'm like, will people notice this or not? Okay, anyway, these are our first big batch homegrown deviled eggs of the year. Yesterday we were using store-bought eggs, so we're cooking those also. And then I just washed up, this is a bunch of duck eggs that were just sitting. They just sit on the counter in our little egg basket or in an egg holder until I can wash them. And now these eggs are washed. Now that they're washed, they'll go in the refrigerator and we will use them from there. I definitely will grab an egg from the egg holder and use it directly from there too. But after a bit, basically when I have time, I then wash them and get them in the refrigerator. Okay, we made it outside. This is where Travis has been working on the things. Yeah, that's daddy's tool. Let's go see piggies and the sunset. Okay, yeah, piggies and sunset. Pigs are making noises at us. Say good evening, piggies. I was just showing the sunset here. So here's the outside garden. I mean, this is the, the side of the bed on the side of the kitchen here. This is how it is looking. So it, you know, it needs all kinds of help, but we do have tulips and such coming up. So that is good. It's just spring and almost spring and time to do these things. 
I don't know if it's going to show up on my camera, but we still are seeing Venus and Jupiter. They were a lot closer, but we can still see them over there. So obviously it's not high powered <laughs> NASA camera equipment. So we found a use for our walnuts. We filled all these bins with walnuts and no, we never got to any other kind of processing with them. But we've been feeding them to our pigs. So they love to eat walnuts off the ground, acorns off the ground, any kind of tree nut. They just love it all. So uh, yay, extra pig food. Okay, the Jamerel Moon Cam continues. Now that we're back inside, I'm gonna peel these eggs for a whole bunch of deviled eggs. We're just, we had them yesterday, ate them all. I hear you, sweetie. We're gonna do these eggs, ate them all, and we're gonna do them again tonight. I don't know that we'll have leftovers though. We'll see. After dinner pie station happening. And these I peeled for the hard boiled eggs. We'll just go in our animal scrap bowl. Okay, good morning. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a vacation week. <laughs> And there's so many projects we can do. We have a bunch of family coming in. The kids are going to have a fantastic cousin time. They were supposed to come yesterday. It didn't quite work out, but it's going to be today through the next several days. Tonight, I also host our monthly homeschool moms night out for local homeschool moms in our area through our homeschool group. But today, during the day, there's just a bunch of stuff I want to tackle. Yes, different kiddos are definitely gonna be helping me throughout the day with different projects. The two youngest, the almost two-year-old and five-year-old are going to Travis. Are you all hauling more rocks today? Mm -hmm. Hauling more rocks, are you, is that the big thing that you're doing today? Not like, I mean, it's a dump truck bed required. Yeah, yeah it's a lot. He's got the dump truck bed on his truck that you got for a good deal off Facebook Marketplace. Is this true? So. And he fixed it. What, how much did you pay for it? The dads want to know. Yeah, it's like $1,000. $1,000 dump truck bed, but it's a thousand dollars good. I fixed it now, and it's probably worth three thousand. He fixed it. Now it's worth three thousand. Okay, dads who love Facebook Marketplace, we can do this, right? Always scheming and negotiating for truck truck situations. I could just do do this conversation all morning. But anyway, so the two youngest are going to go with him. It's his regular old diesel truck. See, I'm talking about his truck. And so he's, I've got, this is how you get eye contact ladies. Start talking about his truck. It's his diesel truck. What kind of engine? 12 valve a what? 12 valve a 12 valve cous cousins. Yeah. Cousins diesel engine. Okay. So the younger boys are able to ride up front with him. Okay. They're gonna haul rocks from the quarry all day and the boys can stay buckled in because they load them at the rock place and then you bring it here and then it dumps. I'll show you today when they're dumping it. And then you all get treats while you're out. It's a real fun time. Big kids and I are gonna bust through a bunch of these projects. Cousins, bunch of family is gonna arrive at some point and then the kids will leave me and I'll be alone and that's okay. And then, and then moms will talk. And then this evening I host this event and I have uh, my counter is still full of all this stuff from the weekend and I still have to finish wrapping up this video. Don't be scared. I'm going to give you a look inside my little planner for this day. Okay, you see the depths here if you can read my cursive. So I'm going to get ready by 1030. Yes, it's a late morning. Yes, I've been drinking coffee and talking to my mom and making travel plans and other things going on. Let's go get ready. And then I need to get this whole island put away and label my jars and end my canning my freezer video. I'm giving myself an hour to do that. Then I need to, besides paint my fingernails, hello, I need to get us, uh, which really I'm not worried about that today, ladies. It's going to be all gone. Um, I need to finish moving us into the bathroom. This has been on my to-do list for so long. We are a good bit moved in there. We're using it, but there's still stuff stacked around that could go in that bathroom. I'm giving myself an hour for that. I don't know. I think I can do this. Then I want to go outside, clean up the garden area, and move poop. And I want to make sure I get 10,000 steps in. And I'm giving myself between 12.30 to 4 to get that done because by four-ish, it could really be 4.30. We need to make sure the kitchen area is ready for mom's night out. And I wanna get my computer area cleaned up on the other side of this room that has a bench. And of course, you know, it collects life. So I wanna get that cleaned up. I need to write on here, I don't know if I can do it holding my camera, slash 
we need to make sure dinner things are away are happening. So we're all cleaned up to host mom's night out from 6.30 to 9.30. And I put on here so I can give myself a check mark, bed by 10. Um, and during all of this, <clears throat> I need to watch my freezer decluttering tour video. I'll get that back from my editor at some point today. So probably when I'm out, you know, chugging around in my garden and stuff with an earbud in, I can watch through that. That's how I multitask and do some of those things. All of this is going to have, let's see, ages of children. The eight-year-old, the 10-year-old, the 12-year-old, the 13-year-old, and the 16-year-old will be with me. We'll be doing these things. But at some point, cousins from out of state come and all the fun hooting and hollering and stuff will ensue while I host the mom's night out this evening. Kids and cousins are getting dominoes and having a switch video game party and just living up life. So even though it's a Tuesday, it's like a Saturday here and uh, that's okay because we do what we want. Yay. All right. So we are here. The rocks are being dumped. The truck is here. Be jealous. It's all the Travis's hopes and dreams. He's rolling this out. You go into it. Rock dumping in action. Travis's hard work in action. Remember, he got it for a thousand and it's now worth three thousand, we hear. And we get to do these kind of projects. Yeehaw. And then this bed will come off. He can take it up off his regular bed. This is, this is pretty serious, huh? Picture the mulch and manure dumping needs. So we've been trucking through. I was just going through also, you know, food ideas. So I'm hosting a bunch of moms tonight. Kids and cousins are getting video games and pizza party. Right now, currently, my kids, because we've been working hard getting so many projects done this morning, they are having a pumpkin pie party. So that's a cool afternoon break. Tomorrow night when family's here, I think we're gonna do, and I one of the kids just had this idea. What about a fire pit? And I'm like, oh yeah, we could get back to it. Other times of the year we do fire pit Fridays. Of course that can move to whatever day of the week. So we're gonna have our first fire pit of 2023 tomorrow night and roast hot dogs and do s'mores and all that good stuff. And then Thursday night, Travis and I are going out to dinner and a movie, wow. And so there will be something in the slow cooker or in the oven for the kids while we go out for our mom and dad date. We had a mom and dad date last week. Maybe that's in this video. We're trying to get back to going out one night a week. So anyway, that's my meal plan for the rest of the week. And I was thinking about numbers. I believe we'll have up to 25 people at the house tonight because a family that's coming got official numbers it's four more so that'll be 15 and then my moms that come over uh, it might be five it might be ten so we have one working bathroom upstairs for 25 folks that's fun but we have the bathroom in our basement too it's just people have to go downstairs and you know walk around my little chicken brooder and uh, follow the path but I probably won't send the moms back there I'll let them use the upstairs bathroom, but it's just living life in the middle of renovation and construction projects too. Also, I'm on my break, but more heavy cream is going down because pies and kids and fun and cousins. Okay, <laughs> whole lot, whole lot has been going down. Whole lot has been accomplished. I am putting, making some room. Let's make some room here. Have some washcloths that do not have a home in my kitchen towel drawer. And I'm trying to put kitchen towels away. This one, this could be a bathroom one. It's not super absorbent. Okay, so now mom life, all of a sudden you see you then have to reorganize this drawer. All kinds of washcloths. Whew. We have kids of all ages who there's always a new one or two that are learning the ropes on things. I love this new one. Uh, many have eaten here, few have died. That is fun. 
Um, that looks like another washcloth situation. Anyway, we got rest of the way as much as we can. Moved into the new main bathroom. There's still, uh, I'll take you and show you what's happening with the second bathroom. I was hoping by the end of the vi this video, you would see it finished, but you'll just have to watch another video to see that. The drywaller has been coming and mudding and such, and then it's been drying, so we're waiting on that. But we got most of the way, moved into the new bathroom as far as like the shelves in there. We're still waiting. They took the drawer to repair so the kids can't fully move into the new drawers. We got the kitchen totally deep cleaned. Look at that. You wouldn't even know that I canned for two days straight last weekend. Lots of deep wiping and putting away. But it's looking pretty good and sparkly except country life. Look what has made it. Do you see? Do you see what's new in the Mega Mama kitchen? The fly strips. That's right. Country life. Hashtag homestead life, right? Uh, I will. I will pull them down for our guests this evening. But I had to put them up for a few days. So there's that. But yeah, I still have my little work area here at the end of the table. I know someone just commented to me today asking about me doing an office space and I know we've talked before about a she shed or something like that but the thing is being a full-time work from home mom I just need like my little command center right there at the end of the counter where I live because I really do live a lot of my life right there behind my rooster <laughs> and so it just makes sense for me now when I do big cooking projects I pull that stuff down and I have my mess over there mm -hmm. I'm still hoping to get to that but I want to finish this towel situation. I'll show you how the bathrooms are working out. Travis has been taking his roller over that rock, those rocks he hauled all day. Tobin is down for his nap. I think I can still get outside for an hour. I don't know that 10,000 steps is happening today. When I do a lot of projects within the house and stuff, it doesn't necessarily equal a ton of extra steps. So I pretty much have to choose working in the garden or purposely walking to get my steps in. By the way, let's look at bathroom stuff. And we're real classy. This is our, night. well, it's a comfy air mattress. The kids keep wanting to get on it, but this is our hotel for our family that is gonna come stay for a couple days. They got a couch and an air mattress, which is better than no air mattress. And then, so here's how this bathroom, oh, they left their orange juice, how the bathroom is looking. Um, you should be able to see some differences. Like we can tell around that lighting there, there's been drywall and stuff. Things have been drying. He came at 7.50 in the morning and I guess went over all the seams and such again. And progress, I mean, we're doing things. There will be a whole new window here that's gonna come out. So as we do these bathrooms, we haven't done the whole house new windows and exterior doors. It is the 1963 original windows. It definitely needs to be done, but at least like as we're doing the bathrooms, they're getting new windows. As we did the kitchen, obviously the kitchen got all new windows. We're going from there. And usually the, the moms that come to the mom's night out, everybody brings something to share. I was thinking, what can I share quickly? Cause you know, without cooking a freezer meal, this is where if I would have more cookie dough in the freezers, right? But I was just thinking I'm gonna do a real quick like meat, cheese, and cracker platter. We have deviled eggs, but those are going fast. And so I'll save those for my folks here uh, because I don't think we're gonna have any left by the time these ladies come. The kids have their pies that they've been making. They wanted to save those for cousins over the next few days. So I have the little round meats and some different cheese cuts and we have Ritz crackers. So we'll just do a cheese platter, but I wanna try to push through and get a few more things done first. Okay, so this is my little contribution table. A kiddo reloaded the coffee pots for me. I got my tea set up. We got the cups set out. I, I had cherries, so I did more than, I didn't do a meat and cheese platter. Well, I did meat, cheese, crackers. But then we have three pounds of cherries and some almonds and pumpkin seeds and organic little banana chips. And hey, hello, sharp shopper. Uh, I just threw them out on a pretty plate. Why not? So we'll see what other snacks arrive. Well, hello, good afternoon. Would you believe I have just 240 other video clips to get uploading here? So yeah, I do a lot of videos. <laughs> uh, wanted to update you all. Let's see here. 
Let's not confuse myself though. You can do this gym row. You can talk to your friends and upload footage. Um, last night went very well. We had four other mamas that came over and they stayed until about 9.30 or so. And so that was lots of fun. Our family has arrived safely and kids are all over the property hooting and hollering. Some of the baby pigs got out this morning. So we had that adventure and it feels like it's freezing in Virginia now today. So we put the flannel on. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video with me where we had a whole lot of life and we had a whole lot of food and we had a whole lot of adventures. I appreciate you watching my videos. I'm thinking about working back in like some more day in the life type videos. Do y'all like those? Let me know. Just this is a good time. We haven't done this in a while. Let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you would like to see from me and we will get those added in. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bonus footage. I feel like I should also report back to you. I didn't get 10,000 steps in yesterday and I didn't get to work in the garden for the second day in a row that I thought I was going to get that done. Time just disappeared. I don't know if that ever happens to you, but sometimes my time just disappears. But now, finally, I am going outside. And we're also going to do a fire pit tonight. And it's going to be a fun time. But I just wanted to report back since I shared that with you yesterday. We got a lot of other stuff done though, but didn't get those things. So those will be upcoming adventures. Okay, goodbye. Second time now. Bye-bye. Triple bonus footage. Just like how we started. The sign, the sign is hung. In one of these videos here recently, I said maybe by the end of this video, we will have this sign hung, and we do. And I think it looks like hopes and dreams. It was meant to be there, yay. Thanks so much to Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video. To try it out for free and unlock more features with premium, head to rocketmoney.com forward slash jmorell or click the link in the description. You can also scan the QR code on the screen to get started. It is afternoon now. Travis has the on here. I'm gonna try one time. Travis has the two young. It is early afternoon now, and hold on here. because if this everything, <laughs> um, so maybe what I'll do. Okay, this will be the little new parent gift package from Travis Hat. Let me see here dozen des deviled eggs with our store-bought eggs. <laughs> I have it in my eye. It's just, I've tried two different 